just southeast of downtown Columbus and Ganther's Place say their complaints have gone unanswered. Investigative reporter Paul Aker went in search of answers. Kristen, you see Columbus trash cans like this tipped over, and they're big and heavy and hard to stand upright. But one Columbus neighborhood says it's the trash collector who's causing the problem, and he's spreading trash all over while he's at it. This is such a special place to be. At Ganther's Place, neighborhood pride has turned blight into beauty. We pick up trash all the time. The neighbors. neighbors like Tara Mullins are the reason. She picks up trash nonstop. The neighborhood even has regular pickups each and every week. It's just something regular upkeep. We take a lot of pride in keeping it clean. That's why these images bother Tara so much. It's trash spilled by a Columbus trash truck. Came out after the trash man had been here. He was actually still in the neighborhood. The truck driver even left one of the cans upside down. Tara says it happens all the time. But this time, she says she asked the garbage worker to clean up his mess. What'd they say? It wasn't their responsibility to come back and do that. We do care. Kenneth Williams has also helped revitalize the neighborhood. He says he wants the city to treat Ganther's place like it treats other neighborhoods. German Village is a great neighborhood. We have a great partnership with them, but we don't get the same services that they do across the way. We try to be fair in picking up every week from uh, more than 331,000 households. The city spokesman Rick Tilton says the trash driver was right. It's not his responsibility to pick up trash or even pick up cans that drivers knock over. Instead, Tilton encourages residents to call. When they call 311, we're following up. We've reached out to the city. Several residents have reached out to the city in a variety of ways. At this point, we have not heard feedback. This might be part of the solution here. The city says everyone should make sure that their garbage is bagged and make sure it's tied. That way, it helps keep the garbage from flying all over the place, no matter what the garbage collector does. Live in Columbus, Paul Aker. 10 TV News. Paul, you talk about complaints. How can people make sure the city is listening to their complaints? Uh, the best way, according to Rick Tilton there, is to go to the city's 311 area of the website, and that way you can see not only your, your complaint and track it by a number that they have, but also the city's response to your complaint. Kristen? Good to know. Thanks, Paul.